Hello and welcome to this video series on getting to know your Lenovo N22 Chromebook. Uh, this is for use to help understand how to integrate these into the classroom. And the first video is going to be all about the actual hardware of the Chromebook itself. So as you can see, here's our Chromebook. It is fairly small. Um, well, here's a glove for comparison on that. So I mean, it's about the size, maybe a little bigger than an old netbook. Um, and you can see there's a few things. It's very slim design right here. You do have HDMI, uh, USB, super speed, SD card, a spot for headphones, uh, sound output, another USB right there on the side, as well as a uh, charging port over here. Another handy feature with this is actually on the back here. You can pull this out and then it doubles is like a little handle to carry, which is nice if you're having students transport these. Now, when you want to open up your Chromebook, you're going to want the Chrome to be facing this way towards you, so it's upside down, and then you just, of course, trying to do this one-handed, lift it up like that. As soon as you lift up the screen, it's going to turn on for you. The webcam right here actually does flip around like that. So you can have it for recording, students can record themselves, or you can turn it around and have them record each other. Uh, very simple to do. It doesn't turn 360, that's important to note. Uh, so be careful, you don't want your students trying to like flip it this way uh, and then breaking the webcam. So. All right, let's take a look at the keyboard here. So it's a very simplistic QWERTY keyboard, uh, not too much going on there. Uh, up here, your top rows, instead of function keys, you have what are called media keys. So you have back, forward, refresh, full screen, uh, settings, mute, uh, turn volume down, turn volume up, and of course, power. You're going to notice that there is no caps lock key in here. Uh, there is a shortcut that you can use for that, but uh, we really want to try and avoid caps lock whenever we can. So, you know, just holding shift is easy. There's also the search button right there that you can use. Um, which is great if you're just working in a browser, you hit search, it'll pull stuff up for you. Uh, you do have your control alt and arrows. So, you know, same thing, a fairly responsive trackpad as well. I really like that. Uh, and it's very, very, very light. Uh, you'll see this is the first screen that you get. Unfortunately, I can't use screencasting software on this um, first screen. So right here, you'll see that it does have the at EmmanuelStCharles.net, which we use for ours, already installed. So then your kids just have to put in their username, uh, which is always their first name, underscore, first initial of last name. You also see down on the bottom here, there is a browse as guest option. And then over here, you'll see it does tell you the time. You can see your Wi-Fi network, as well as battery usage right there. All right, the next video is going to be showing you uh, different apps and functions inside a user account. Um, so yeah, uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like or you know leave comments below if I missed anything or if you have a question on anything else. As always, thanks for watching.